Great. Now we can finally start writing code. I'm going to rename the class to a very simple PDM add-in. And I'm going to rename the file in the Solution Explorer by right-clicking on it. Oops, I did not mean that. Click on rename. I'm going to get some more space here. Just let me resize these files right here. And then one of the first things we need to do is to add the namespace that contains the PDM types. So using epdm.interrupt.epdm. We can also add the other one. Great. Now, this class right here is our adding class. How does PDM know it's an add-in? Well, PDM API requires that we implement the IEDM add-in interface. So we need to do that by implementing the IEDM add-in interface in this fashion. This is going to guarantee that this class will implement two methods. You see this squiggly line right here underneath add-in 5? It's just Visual Studio saying that we do not have this interface implemented. So I'm going to press control dot and then press enter here, and it's going to auto add the get add -in info method as well as the on command method. Awesome. So the get add -in info method is the method that PDM calls when you add the PDM add-in to the vault. And it's going to take a look at the parameters. It's going to give you a EDM add an info structure. This structure here is going to have a number of fields that we have to set, including the name, the company name, description, and a bunch of other stuff. So hence why it's the add an info. And these are going to be the things that you see in the, in the window of the PDM properties. It also gives us a vault object. This vault object, we could use it to do anything that we need done particularly when the add-in is added to the vault, as well as a command manager. And this command manager allows us to do two things, is to add commands. And these commands are many items, for example, that could show up in File Explorer, as well as hooks that will be executed when an event occurs in PDM. So for example, if you want to listen to when a file is being checked out or checked in, we need to sort of hook into or listen to the pre lock file hook or post lock file hook depending on which state do you want to track awesome just to make sure that we cover all bases with the get add an info method it gets triggered whenever you add the add-in to the vault it also gets triggered initially when you log into pdf so let's add an implementation to this so initially i want to give my add-in some information so i'll start with the add-in name we'll call this a very Simple add -in. And then I'll just add a bunch of properties here. Fields quickly. So company name, call this Blue by Systems Inc. We'll add the add in version. We'll give this version one. We'll call this version one. We'll add a description as well. This is a description of the very simple PDM add-in. And we will also specify that the minimum required version of PDM is going to be 10.1. So this defines the minimum version of PDM that could run this add-in. 10.1 should be PDM Professional 2010. Maybe we'll pull this 11. So that is more in line with the CLR4 or the .NET Framework 4. Now that we have given our add-in its information, Let's go directly to the command manager. And I actually want to hook into the data card button 
click events. So I'm going to add a hook and this hook is going to listen to this enum. It's called the EDM command type and the command type that we're looking for is called card button. With this, whenever we add the add-in to the vault or the user logs into PDM, this will be called and all the data card button click events are going to be passed to this add-in. Now, where does that information go? It goes on to the on 